Hey Sparkle Squad, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a backward camel. So this video was actually requested by one of you guys, so thank you guys so much for requesting it. I already have a tutorial on how to do a forward camel on my channel, so if you want to check that out, you guys can. But today we're going to be going over how to do a backward camel. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you're able to do before we start doing our backward camel is you want to know how to do a backwards one foot spin. So you want to make sure that you're really confident with doing a backward one foot spin. You want to make sure that you're nice and stable because you have to be able to be nice and stable because when we're in a camel, we're basically balancing on one foot and we're kind of like in a T position. So you want to make sure that you feel nice and stable on your one foot backwards spin. So I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like. You just want to have like a nice normal either one foot spin or back scratch or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. I already mentioned this, but when you're doing backward camel or forward camel, I told you guys this in my forward camel tutorial, but you want to kind of think of your leg as going up a lighthouse stairs. So if you've ever seen lighthouse stairs, it goes up like in a spiral like this, and you want to kind of grab your leg. So when we're going up into our spin, as we're spinning around, we're slowly lifting our foot, and it's kind of like following like the stairs of the lighthouse until you get all the way to the top, and that's when we're in our camel position. All right, so when we're doing our camel, we don't want to like just throw our leg up into the air because we're going to lose our balance and we're going to be able to fall forwards and we're not going to be able to hold the camel position that we want to hold so we just really want to remember that we're going nice and slow up into our camel position and you want to try and keep your shoulders nice and straight and parallel to the eyes and you also want to keep your foot turned out in your camel position knee straight and you also want it to be about hip level you don't need it to be like too high and you also don't want to be spinning in your camel like this so you want it nice hip level you want to have shoulders parallel to the eyes all right so this is the position that we want to be spinning in when we're doing our camel position. So we're just gonna work on that and get comfortable with that position. And then we can start working on it off the aisle. When we're doing our backward camel, we're going to be in a position with our left arm in front of us. So that's how we're going to go up into the spin, just like this, so with our left arm in front. And when we go into it, you want to have your chest nice and low, so like this. And you're going to be pushing, like basically like there's a table in front of you and it's full of stuff. And then you slide all of the stuff off the table. So you're here, you're going to have your knees nice and bent, and you're going to take this arm and slide it out in front of you. So then after we do that, we're going to feel this motion. We're right here, inside edge, and that's how we're going to get up into our camel position. So right here, so this arm all the way through, you wanna make sure that it's your opposite arm is the leg that you're spinning on, because if it's the same arm, then you're not gonna be able to get the snap and you're gonna be falling out of your camel like that, and that's not what we want. So when we're right here, this arm is gonna come all the way through, it's gonna slide, and then that's how we're gonna slowly lift our leg up into our camel position. So you just wanna try and work on getting into that camel position first. You wanna feel that like kind of like a ladder almost or like the staircase of the lighthouse. So here, push and slowly bring your foot up. And we're just gonna so when we're going into our backward camel, you want to try and keep your shoulders nice and square. You don't want to twist them too much and you don't want to go into your camel like this or you don't want to go into your camel like this. So you want to be nice and flat. So right here, and it's almost like we're going to swipe the table and then we're going to be laying on the table nice and flat in that like stretched position so that we feel nice and like you want to kind of feel like you're being like, what is it, like you're flexing almost. So you're here and you're gonna push and you're gonna wipe the table and you're gonna get into your camel position. And then you're gonna try and take your upper body and you wanna make it nice and flat, almost like you're laying on the table. All right, so that, we're gonna work on that until we're comfortable with doing our, like that position, getting into the camel position. And then we're just gonna push and we're gonna try and slowly get up into our camel position and then we're gonna try and hold it from there. So right here, nice and slow. We don't wanna kick our leg too far high or else we're gonna lose our balance. So you wanna go nice and slow so that you're able to get into your camel position. And then after we're comfortable with holding our camel position, we're gonna to start to add some more speed. All right, so now we're gonna to start to add some more speed going into it. So you can either skate into it forwards or you can do backward crossovers and step forwards into it, whatever you wanna do. I usually just skate forwards into mine. Um, and so, <laughs> There's really any way that whatever you want to go into it. So I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to do a couple of skates forward. So I'm going to like take a couple of steps and then I'm going to get into my wind up. 
push up into my camel position and then hold it. So when you have more speed, you really want to hold your wind up a lot more. And the wind up is really important because you don't want to just like go into it with a lot of speed and then go flying and then fall out of your spin and then hurt yourself. So you want to make sure that you have a really nice and strong um, wind up going into it and so that you feel nice and stable on your feet. So we're going like this way, like so, wind up and get into your camel position. Just like that. And that's how you do a back camel. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is my tutorial on how to do a backward camel. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I also hope that this video helps you guys get your backward camel. If you guys have any other tutorials that you want me to do, leave those down below in the comments and I'd be happy to make those for you guys. But I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye!